Over the years, I've had a lot of people ask me about what's involved in creating our Christmas cards, how we do it. And the short answer is that there's a lot of Photoshop involved, but there's also, we have to take the photos, we have to come up with costumes, but even more challenging many times is that we have to come up with the concept, which we generally do in September or October. It all started about 11 years ago in 2007 with uh, the first card like this that I uh, put together, which was based on the Brady Bunch and um, called the Sunder Bunch. So we sent that out and people liked it and that was great. The next year we happened to be in Gatlinburg and we had one of those old timey photos done of the boys as gangsters or as, as outlaws rather. And so um, we used that as if it was a different station and in this case the History Channel. And by doing that we had started a trend, we had started a series and we've had to continue that. The next year we did a Christmas action news team, kind of an iconic uh, news photo. Um, each of the boys was photographed separately. Um, Costume-wise, a couple of them were wearing my suit coats. Uh, Nathan wasn't being very cooperative, so actually that's Isaac's body and just with Nathan's head on it. Um, we tried to give each of them personalities so that like um, Samuel was the nerdy weatherman and John was the style guide and Eddie and Bennett were the main anchors and maybe Nathan was the sports guy and I'm not sure what Isaac was but he's happy to do it. The next year we did a card based on um, the recent uh, rescue of the Chilean miners and um, we kind of played with that a little bit. This one did not involve nearly as much Photoshop as some of the others um, but we tried to to kind of replicate the famous uh, miners photo when they were when they were first um, seen underground. The year after that um, a bunch of our boys were in a local community theater production of It's a Wonderful Life and so we used that opportunity to kind of recreate the uh, movie poster uh, image from that with our family and uh, just called it It's a Sunderful Life. 2012 we were back in Gatlinburg and so this time we had a gangster photo done of our boys and so that turned into another History Channel Christmas card. This is probably the one I'm least happy with. There's a lot of Photoshop involved but there wasn't really a theme. We kind of ran out of time and had to put one together pretty quickly. The next year we did uh, Chariots of Sunders, sort of recreating the iconic beach scene from Chariots of Fire, and uh, we had to shoot each of them individually and composite them together and add the uh, British logo to their t-shirts and stuff like that to make that work. 2015 we were recreating the famous Fred McMurray uh, Follow Me Boys uh, Boy Scout movie. Um, since we're all uh, scouts, we're a very scouty family, we felt like this was a, a pretty easy one. This is actually shot behind our house um, and the woods that you see behind us are actually the opposite direction of the hill we're standing on. Uh, if we didn't have those there you'd see our house right there. 2016 um, we, it was our 10th year of doing this and we decided that it was time to upgrade the TV to a flat panel. Um, that was mostly because I wanted a wider canvas to work with. Um, the movie Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them had just come out and um, we really enjoyed that and so we tried to recreate um, some, one of the, uh, the posters from that movie here. And you can uh, there's a ton of Photoshop work done in this. Uh, I had to recreate a lot of the font. Um, Samuel's coat was not blue. The scarf he has around his neck is actually a poncho that was just pure yellow that we've added stripes to. Obviously the wands were um, enhanced. The briefcase was black. There's just a ton of things. Most people didn't have ties on. Um, so we've done a lot of work. A ton of Photoshop work uh, was involved in, in doing that. And so that brings us to this year which um, we came up with the concept uh, I think in early November actually a little bit later but um, felt like we could put it together pretty quickly and what we wound up doing was uh, doing a photo shoot which you'll see here. We set up the green screen in our living room along with the lighting uh, to make sure that we had you know good shots of everybody. You can note that people have on foot gear that is not appropriate for their costumes because we're not going to see the bottom of their, their legs so that's fine. We um, tried to take a lot of different poses with different people looking from different angles, uh, different looks. 
Um, I like Nathan's foot gear there. And um, what you're going to see in a minute is we took all of these photos, and I think there were 70 or 80 of them or something like that. And um, then we take those and we turned those ultimately into our uh, Christmas card. So what you're going to see in a minute uh, is I did a time lapse of the several hours that it took me to edit the photos. And so let's look at that. So this is Photoshop. I'm basically setting up my initial um, frames and here I'm trying to figure out what the best way to remove the green screen is and which tools I should use kind of going through each of these images of John and combining them into a single file so I can pick amongst them doing the same thing here with Isaac um, you can see I'm, I'm having to kind of dig in, make sure that I'm getting people's hair, that I'm getting their body, that if they're, if there's a hole that sees, they can see through, then uh, I need to get that as well. You can see each of there's different faces or postures or poses that we wind up using. And so I'm basically right now just kind of assembling my media and um, using these images or putting these images together so that then I can pick amongst them uh, depending on what I think the best uh, photos are. This is one of the years in which uh, Betsy and I make an appearance. We don't always make it into the Christmas card. We know most people just really want to see our kids anyway, but we wound up making it uh, making it in there. So um, I felt like uh, I wasn't super happy with uh, the way that I looked, and so I decided I wanted to add a, a cane and have one hand in front and have one hand in back. I needed to add the thumb in order to do that, so you can see me uh, kind of blending that cane in and, and uh, stuff because that fits with the uh, the image. You can see me overlaying this with a picture of Kenneth Branagh and trying to put his mustache and goatee on my face and it's it's not working great. Eventually I think I get rid of this one and, and use a different one. So I'm putting myself into the iconic Orient Express. Here I am, yeah, this is, I decided, all right, let's, let's use a little bit different photo of his mustache. It's very blue. Let's get it to match my hair a little bit better. So now I've got that image in there. I'm picking out Bennett. You can see here I'm trying to get that green out of his hair and get that to blend well. Um, he's going to be one of the background folks. And um, so now I thought he needed a bow tie so I grabbed an image off the web and I basically uh, crop it out make the colors match and put him in there. Um, Eddie's wearing this off-white dinner jacket which I wanted to be white, so then I needed a, a white bow tie for him and stole one off of Benedict Cumberbatch. Again, get the colors to match, place us around, and uh, Nathan was pretty good to go. Betsy needed um, to have a lot of things done to her because we wanted to add jewelry and have her in a chair that we didn't have. So there's the Judy Gents chair that she's appearing in. I'm trying to make it blend in. You can see kind of how I'm doing that. Uh, this is the only Christmas card we've had where the cat makes an appearance, so that's kind of fun. And you can see here I'm trying to get it to blend. Okay, let's lighten the cat up a little bit so you can see Gracie a little bit better. Let's make sure you can see Betsy pretty well. Let's make sure that the chair fits in. Let's put her in there. And so I'm, I'm sort of fixing a lot of little things um, as this is sort of going on here. And um, Samuel becomes, uh, he, his was pretty much right on. Isaac's was pretty good. John's needed just a little bit of work. I kind of made his his outfit a little bit uh, more formal made it almost look like he had a vest on kind of thing and now I'm just rearranging where am I gonna put people how am I gonna have them blend together that's the original photo that I'm sort of overlaying and now I'm doing some things in terms of coloring making it bluer making it match moving people around to where I'm happy with how it looks sort of resizing and all that kind of stuff so again, now I've got to put the font in, and so I've got to figure out a font that matches, figure out how to make it have the same glowy effects. Note that Johnny Depp's hand goes across the R. I want to replicate that with R's. And so, um, you know, that's pretty much what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to match that as much as I can. So here you'll see me start to get rid of parts of the letters that are hidden by us. And, now I need to add the jewelry and stuff to Betsy's um, outfit. So there's this peacock feather, which is kind of a 
appropriate period piece. I'm going to add uh, a brooch and some other um, jewelry here. I'm trying to subtract it from the background so it'll look like it's on there. Um, this is uh, this goes on on. It's a brooch on her necklace. I need to sort of adjust the color and add some shadow behind it. Um, I wanted my suit to be bluer, so that's what I'm doing here. I don't want my hand to be bluer, however. And so um, just adjusting things and sort of getting the colors to match is what I'm doing. And here is the final Christmas card. So that's what's involved in creating a Christmas card. And I realize it's a long-winded um, explanation of this, and I've kind of gone over the history of these, but it's been fun, and we've really, we really look forward to this every year. And I hope you've enjoyed it.